I got an uh, email that you are shortlisted for an internship of six months as a software developer intern. And trust me, that was one of my uh, happiest moment as it was first time that I felt like I have achieved something. Hello Internet, this is RJ here and welcome back to the brand new video on this channel. So in this video, we will be talking about how I got my first internship. So watch this video till the end and comment your thoughts and feedback on the comment section. Without wasting any further time, let's get straight into our video. So the first internship I have got was uh, on my college. It was on campus internship. So the company was at our college for uh, internship drive and the role was technical and it was majorly for software developer intern. It it was a Nagpur based startup named Kojak uh, Smart Technologies Private Limited and they were into IOTs and uh, machine learning and AI and also web development. So particularly I was chosen for web development. So let's start the journey from beginning. So the company got on our pod section. So pod is an app for our college. It lists all the companies which are on campus and which are there for drive. I got the notification that uh, some company like Kojak is there for internship drive. They were conducting an internship for software developers. So I applied for it. And the next thing happened to me was I forgot about this opportunity. So I missed the aptitude test for this company but my resume uh, or I don't know what magic happened and my resume got shortlisted without giving the aptitude test and uh, actually other day we had a mock interview at our college and I was preparing for that and one of my friend come to me and said that bro you got selected in first round so uh, what are you preparing for the interview so after this I uh, asked him like which company and all so he told me about the group uh, the company group which uh, I was supposed to join I missed the notification unfortunately so, uh, I joined the group and I saw that my name is there in the list. So one of the major thing I think uh, that helped me out in getting this internship was my resume and the projects I have did for the college and uh, also my personal projects. The interview was mainly technical. I was asked about uh, SQL, PHP, DOM, basic HTML tags and what are the different types of tags, basic CSS and all that things. And the interview was not that good from me. I guess I, I had given around 7 out of 10 questions. So I thought that I might get rejected as the interview was not that good as expected. But uh, somehow I got an uh, email that you are shortlisted for an internship of 6 months as a software developer intern and trust me that was one of my uh, happiest moment as it was first time that I felt like I have achieved something and which I thought I might not get but still I got it and I was very happy and very uh, like hopeful for the internship and the work I'm uh, I'm going to do uh, many days passed and around 10 to 15 days uh, later I got my offer letter so first of all let me tell you that the internship was paid uh, it was not like very good stipend but at least uh, it's it was bit much better than working for free for anyone I took it as an appreciation that I'm working and I'm getting paid also but the only thing I wanted at that time was uh, experience to put into my resume and to add one more field. So let's get into my resume which got me selected and I know it's not professional resume but this is what it is. So this resume was made by me for an uh, mock interview at our college and the same resume I have applied with for this same company. But by that time we had no knowledge of how to make professional resumes and all. We uh, just given it a try, put all our skills and projects into that single page. So this is my resume, which you can see on your screen. So ignore this photo and all. Now I have learned that it's not necessary to put a photo in your resume. It doesn't even matter because your resume gets uh, scanned through an ATS. So it ignores the photo. So I had my name, my degree and the year which uh, I'm in. I was in fourth sem while I was giving this interview. Then I had my education, the summary. In the summary, again, you can add this or ignore this uh, because the resume which I have right now uh, doesn't have any summary because it has no space for it. And this was my education summary work experience. So the main thing I, I, I guess which helped me a lot in uh, getting selected was my projects. I had done a project for our college which was was seminar hall booking website we had a club coding club in which i was a co i was coordinating we are supposed to build a seminar hall booking website for our college a team of four or five of us uh, was working on it the project was mainly a basic form 
input in which we will have a calendar and we will be able to book the events and the admin will able to will be able to accept the bookings or if there are any duplicate bookings and all that anyways i hadn't worked with the all the logic because i was mainly working and leading the front end part for this website so i was working with html and css basically uh, and before that i haven't worked for a single time with html and css and i had no idea that what i'm supposed to do or how a website is built the website or the specific design we were aiming was not there in pre-built or ready-made elements on internet and it was not too complex so i decided to start learning html and css from scratch i'll take you to through the website uh, itself that what i have made i know it's very basic and it's like very or uh, very unprofessional but it was my first website which i have made and everything from designing to like writing code and the whole website was written in pure css which was a very big thing for me as i've learned about many things in that time so the first mistake i made was one of my friend uh, suggested me to use figma for the web design and you can get the code in right side and you can copy paste that code in our project and you can get your website done by that you don't have to write any code by your own but i tried that and it gave me all the absolute positions and all i completed the project and i till that point i had no idea that the website must be responsive i didn't knew uh, the concept of responsiveness so i told my project head that my part is done and he the first thing he asked me is is it responsive and i was like what is responsiveness so he told me to inspect that and open it into mobile mode and everything was just terrible looking so it was uh, all messed up and every element got here and there i had no idea like what to do now and then i had a meeting with my friend and we decided to fix it so he had an idea about responsiveness and uh, he had worked a bit on uh, the same thing so i basically worked with him and made that responsiveness possible with help of flexbox mainly this was the overall journey of my first project the second project was my portfolio website i saw in one of the videos on youtube that the one project you must have is a portfolio website where you can showcase all your other projects so i decided to build that i searched on youtube a typical search how to make a portfolio website using html and css and i made this as you can see on your screen i will show you the comparison the portfolio website i made in my second year and the portfolio website i made in my sixth sem fifth sem sorry as a project for my college that's a whole other topic and a video this was my second project a portfolio website and the third project was a front end for a mess finding website it doesn't had anything at all i just used tailwind blocks for placing elements and at that time i thought that i will make this as a whole project but i didn't work further with that as i was learning a whole other things so that were my three projects which helped me getting in my internship and uh, so this was my resume i know it's very basic but trust me when i saw the resumes for of, of my friends and uh, others while mock interview i thought that this resume is much better than others because it has uh, clarity about all the work experience and relevant skills and it curriculars and extracurriculars and everything education right from top to bottom which uh, the other resumes were missing and i guess this was the thing which got me uh, directly into an interview without even giving an aptitude test uh, so this was it uh, the journey which i had in my internship although the internship last only for three months as uh, my college forced me to uh, do the curricular first and to attend the college and they were not allowing me to like uh, work further anyway so i decided to quit that internship in three months but i had a great time and in internship also faced multiple challenges and that's a whole other topic and we will have a video on what i actually did in my internship so i'm planning a next video on that only it might sound boring but uh, trust me this is how it is and it's not like everyone on internet who is telling us that this is very exciting journey and all uh, trust me it is very tiring and very boring journey this is not something that you will enjoy uh, after getting into it you might enjoy it but getting an internship or a job is very difficult thing especially in this period or this era in which we are or i am graduating i saw my friends struggling for the internship still they are, haven't got an work experience so i'm very thankful that i got a chance to work and to get actual industry experience while earning some money talking about what 
I would suggest to second or first year students to uh, get an internship is work on projects. That's the only thing that matters. Uh, you might lack some of the skills or you might not be a master in some of the skills, but you can f- uh, like I don't uh, I don't want to call it fake, but you can have a brief overview about the skills and you can crack the interview. Definitely you can crack it. And the second thing is. If your college is good enough, try to get it on campus because uh, finding job or internships off campus, uh, especially these days, is very difficult. And I'm still struggling for a off campus job. Obviously, we haven't uh, got any good company at our campus itself. Again, it's not their fault. It's market like the market doesn't have much jobs right now, so I don't blame them. So this was the video and all about how I got my internship. Uh, so if you have any questions. or any queries or anything you want to ask about this internship or about this uh, whole journey you can definitely ask in the comment section and i'll surely try to reply uh, every of the comment and even if there is something that needs a greater or a brief ex- explanation i'll make a video uh, on it for sure uh, so that's it for this video and i hope you I didn't got bored on this video uh, I know it's a little lengthy but I wanted to share my whole experience and journey of getting my first internship as uh, I guess many of the first and second year students can relate with and uh, can get inspiration from uh, because uh, trust me even uh, I, I I'm not saying that I had uh, I have done anything like very big or it's a great achievement and uh, no one can do it or something like that but trust me even if it is small achievement it's very as much as i have seen or i'm seeing getting an internship in second year is not what everyone does or everyone has a chance to i'm grateful for this thing and also i'm very proud of this thing that i had done this so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you got some information or some inspiration from this video like this video share this video with your friends or your uh, brother sisters everyone motivate them to work and to work hard also subscribe this channel for the further videos and let's catch you in the next video till then adios amigos